So uh, the first topic is why is selecting the right journal so important? Well, the result is, you know, I don't even have to say it. Uh, if you select the right journal, it results in successful publications uh, rather than having to go through a whole series of rejections um, from having targeted uh, the wrong journal. Uh, so what constitutes publication success? Well, you want to have your manuscript in the best shape possible. Uh, it should have sound research. Uh, then uh, not only should it have great research, uh, your journal choice is of critical importance. And once you have chosen your journal um, and chosen the article type, you know, because not only you have to choose your journal, uh, you have to look at you know, what type of advance are you reporting? You know, are you trying to publish a review article or is it a full length article or is it a rapid communication? You know, is it something that's really important that you can get out in a short paper? Uh, and usually these rapid communications will be published even faster than journal articles. You know, so if time is a, of the essence, then maybe you should choose uh, a journal uh, that has a quick turnaround uh, or if, if you have a shorter article, you can choose like a, a rapid communication. And you want to put all this information together into a great submission package. Uh, so one of the things I mentioned uh, in my introduction is that there's a lot of uh, rejection that occurs before peer review. Uh, so after your manuscript is submitted and you click that submit button, uh, usually an editor uh, will see the manuscript first. Um, I've been the senior editor for about you know, five, six years at, at Integrative Zoology. Uh, so you know, I'm asked to do this screening. So uh, first we look at uh, conformity to editorial guidelines. Usually you can find these in the instructions for authors. And um, you know, each journal uh, has aims and scope. And so we will look at the paper and, and see if the topic uh, fits appropriately to the aims and scope of the journal and also to the journal readership. Well, who's the journal readership? It's usually, uh, if it's a society journal, then it's a scientific society. We'll also look at the content of the manuscript. So the editor will think, uh, does, the journal, does the manuscript fit the journal's aims and scope? Uh, is it of minimum acceptable quality? Uh, is the content good enough uh, to warrant a peer review? So we look at the quality of research, uh, the, the relevance of, of, the, the, uh, of the topic, uh, and finally, the usefulness uh, in the field of study. Yeah. Um, you may describe uh, new research, you know, especially the medical research. You, they, there's practical apps, aspects uh, that are also important. Uh, and finally, uh, is the manuscript compliant with the journal's instructions for authors? So every journal will publish an instructions for authors. And I urge you, you know, when you're looking and shopping around for journals and selecting a journal, uh, to read the instructions to authors very carefully and make sure you follow that. Here are some common reasons for manuscript rejection. Uh, the most common reason is uh, the manuscript is just inappropriate. So it's outside the journal scope. Um, another reason for rejection is you simply chose a high impact vector journal uh, like Nature or Science uh, or uh, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, a new journal. Uh, it's the New England Journal of Medicine. I think that's the top impact vector medical journal. Uh, I'm sure uh, they get way more submissions than they can possibly handle. Uh, so they end up rejecting a lot uh, before peer review and even a large uh, fraction of those after peer review. Uh, you may simply be rejected by not following instructions. Um, another big reason for rejection, uh, this is what I mentioned that the journal editors are looking for, is originality or novelty. Uh, so this is extremely important. Um, if you're the second team of researchers uh, you know, to publish a finding, uh, you'll probably get your paper rejected because it was published elsewhere. Uh, someone beat you to it. You got scooped. Uh, so uh, you know, the originality and novelty is of critical importance. Uh, there's two journals that don't care about originality and novelty, and that's Plus One 
Uh, and the other one is Scientific Reports, which is actually a nature journal. Uh, you know, those will publish uh, confirmatory studies that, that confirm previous data. Uh, so long as you follow the scientific method, uh, they will publish your research uh, in those two journals. Uh, other reasons for rejection is lack of significance, uh, flaws in the study design, um, there's been a few papers that have been rejected because of ethical problems. Um, you know, maybe the, they forgot to include uh, trial registrations or informed consent if you have human subjects. Um, all these ethical considerations, especially with medical journals.